Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back playing some more of Peglin. Uh, I don't think this video is going to come out in October, but uh, technically uh, I'm just wearing my Halloween, my, my low effort Halloween costume, right? I, I didn't really want to dress up, so I already had this hoodie. So I was like, I'll just dress up as Ken from Barbie, got like a $3 bandana uh, and uh, some some very, very dark sunglasses. Um, but yeah, so we're just, we're just vibing, playing some Peglin here. Uh, last time we played, we finally ended our streak also the shades are coming off they, they were there for the beginning of the stream for the bit right because that's my halloween outfit it, it they are that makes it so dark <laughs> uh, but, but yeah last episode we played as round roll after probably realistically two or three months of um of uh you know uh, losing to, with the round drill, we finally won, uh, and we still haven't seen a lot of the uh, the, the the relics. Um, and uh, so we are gonna take a pause on round drill. So we will still be finding new uh, kind of uh, you know relics and stuff in the future. But it's Spinventor's time, and I'm I love to go to Spinventor. Can Spinventor is one of my favorites. So uh, we got to see if we can beat Crucible 13 on the Spinventor. Hopefully we can get it this episode. Hopefully it's not six months of uh, you know waiting. Um, and uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just immediately go with adventuring I think if we just commit to the bit of like doing full-on upgrade stuff with Spinventor uh, I feel like we could do pretty good you had double glasses on I did because I wear glasses I could wear contacts for the bit but uh, my contact prescription is really old and it's finally like normally I would like wear like if I was gonna like six flags or something some you know some outdoor thing um, but the prescription is so old that it actually like I my, my eyes do not like it um, so conveniently the glasses fit over the glasses. Uh, so that is, uh, that is good here. Um, so we're going to just try to get as much money as possible here, uh, with the spin venter. I really, really hope that we can, okay, I'm going to break one, one of the bombs. Um, I really, really, really hope that we can actually, um, win this video. I mean, round drill, it took us so long. And to be fair, we eventually, the, the class got buffed, you know? And so, uh, that helps. I'm trying to get gold here, but okay, there we go. Got a little bit more gold. That was actually really worth it. So 32 took eight damage. So it's like, I don't know how much that's worth it, but whatever. Oh, we can already get a re restore. Isn't that when we actually won our round drill run? Wasn't it because we had some crazy stuff like that? I, I think it was honestly. Um, but man, I hope we can win. I hope we can win. That way we can just immediately go back to the round drill funny enough, even though we've been playing the round drill for so long and try to see what some of the new relics are, right? I still think there is a new relic for the Spinventor though. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I don't know, Bramble? Can I, you know what? I'm going to take Bramble here. Um, Bramble level two because it's going to be even more damage because it's a unique orb, right? That's what's cool about Spinventor. We kind of have the freedom to take quirky things. Uh, and if we're going Restore and we're going to spend all our money on that, then um, having something high damage would be good. And okay, Sand Arrows. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with any of these. I would prefer Unicorn Horn and then maybe the Bombs. I think Sand Arrows is my... I don't know. Sand Arrows is, is good against bosses, but Bombs is going to help me just earlier on here, I think. Hopefully we can still go to the chest here. This shouldn't be too hard of a navigation. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, we're nearing Crucible 15 here, right? Um, I'm I'm very excited. Okay, all attacks get plus 0, plus 1. Uh, I don't think crit is really like 100% what I'm going for here. But that's okay. That's okay. And it is good that we have uh, Restore with the Bramble, right? Because that's allowing us to heal. Obviously, we want to get uh, Restore max leveled. Uh, that way, we can actually start building our uh, HP and stuff like that. Yeah, there isn't an endless mode. There is a mod that we played a very long time ago that allowed for looping, but I don't even think it's scaled really at all, if if I remember correctly. Uh, I was talking. I was I was getting uh, Dylan from uh, the the dev team. Um, <laughs> I was just berating him with questions. I honestly felt so bad because, um, uh, you know, sometimes I just reach out and, you know, see if I can get some sneak peeks for what's going on, you know, to let you guys know. Plus, just for myself, uh, Jack of Lantern could be really cool, but we're putting all of our money in upgrading. We restored. Uh, we want that maxed as early as possible. Definitely want this elite. 
Um, and uh, they said that uh, obviously uh, they're getting close to 1.0 and they've put so much work and time and effort into it. I mean, they've been working on this game uh, really hard for a couple years now. So um, I think when it comes out immediately, there'll probably be a little bit of a break from the dev team, which is fair. I mean, eventually there's going to excuse me, be uh, 20 Crucible levels. So it's going to take us a while to climb to Crucible 20 on every character, I'm sure. Um, and uh, I don't know, maybe we even like restart the Crucible wheels for every character. I don't know. That's a lot of progress gone, but like, I don't know. It probably makes more sense to just go to Crucible 20 and then restart them all if we want. I don't know. Um, but it could be cool to like kind of have that fun experience of the lower Crucible levels. I don't know. Also, we destroyed them. We didn't even take any damage. Um... But, uh, yeah, I was kind of asking and they were like, yeah, there's a lot of things they want to do depending on 1.0. Um, like, uh, they, they potentially want to look into workshop support. Um, I was trying to see if they were going to try to release more characters as DLC. They didn't really, they, they didn't have any solid plans. Um, but there, you know, are some things they want to look into. So we'll just, uh, have to hope. Right. Um, and, uh, so popping corn helps with healing a lot. Re Recombobulator is pretty decent because we have the bombs, but I'm going to go popping corn. I'm going to go popping corn here. I think that's what we're going to do. And hey, Toasty Fail, thanks for the two months. Appreciate it. How's the run going? We're still pretty early on, but uh, I think we're doing uh, pretty good here. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, Pretty promising build, and Spinventor's been good to us, I think, recently. Uh, so that's uh, that's good. That's good, right? Um, okay. And so it is pretty cool that like the first thing we hit every um, is upgraded to 10. Obviously, we're early on so it doesn't really matter we're not focusing on that too much and popping corn is really helpful so in terms of like the checklist that we always talk about i think the only thing that we're still going to be really missing out is a refresh especially if we're trying to do some sort of um you know uh some upgrade thing getting refreshes is, is really important so see how that goes um, i'm gonna go ahead and hit this other bomb and then i think we'll still have some more time to uh to get it the ui changes look dope as hell yeah, they're growing on me. I still um, kind of miss the old way. I still kind of am not a super big fan of how it kind of looks like Backpack Hero, but, um, you know, it's, 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 it's okay. Also, something that comments left uh, in one of my uh, last Peglin videos is... Um, that apparently, I, I thought Spinfection stuff just got buffed um, because it added, you know, oh, now when they crit, um, they apply some more Spinfection. But I believe people were pointing out that the damage values actually changed on the orbs. Um, and uh, so they're, uh, I, I think they're still better, I believe, but it's not like just a full on you know, upgrade. Also, yeah, upgrading Bram Ball to level three now gives it overflow, which is huge. Um, Kind of, I mean, no, yeah, I don't really want to do full on poison. Um, and our crits, I don't know, we could do crit because we have complex claw. Do these even do that much more? Oh, that does do more damage on a crit, but we don't have any more crits. I I'm not going to focus on that. I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to be a smart boy here. Um, fight another elite, you know, live a happy life. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, there we go. And yeah, Peglin is on uh, on mobile. So if you have an iPad, you could just you can buy uh, it on mobile. <sighs> I can't wait to see if I rage quit before completing what all the twenty Crucible levels, because for sure they'll be hard as fuck. Yeah, they may rebalance the Crucible levels. They've done that in the past. Um, if they do, we'll probably start fresh completely. Also, wall bounces contribute to damage. It's okay. Um, no, we're, I mean, Peglin is, is gonna very soon, not very soon, but I don't know, Peglin, Peglin's been good to us, uh, in terms of, uh, y'all, you know, thank you guys so much for keeping an interest in Peglin. I, I understand why you keep an interest in Peglin, because it has kept my interest for 234 hours of gameplay, uh, with no signs of stopping, honestly. Um, this is a fantastic game, I'm glad to be you know, one of the content creators that have been along since literally the launch of Early Access, making videos since the launch of Early Access, um, you know, so much to the point that, you know, got our own item in the game and all sorts of stuff, so I'm very happy, um, right? It's, it's, it's really, really cool. Like, I've been trying to be a content creator. Um, you know, I've always said, like, it's, it's my lifetime goal to do content creation, like, full-time. I have so many big dreams, like, you know, um, 
fun bits, like streams, like ideas, things I want to do in the future. Um, and we're, we're getting there. We're getting, so I really appreciate everyone that, um, you know, supports the channel and is, is here, here at the beginning, even though it's not really the beginning. I've did this channel. I've been making videos off for 10 years, but it's nice to like, after all of that time, finally, I don't know, like, I don't know, like have, have, have people that actually want to watch me play this game, be so into a community that, um, you know, we have our own items in the game. Um, and it's also cool cause we've done that for a couple series, right? It's not like we're just like only playing Peglin, you know, there's a, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of games that we play and stuff like that. And a uh, big example of it is, is rounds, right? We're kind of at the, the uh, we've talked about it a lot, but we're kind of at the end of the rounds era. You know, we may do one big finale or something. Um, but it's, it's really cool to have people not just like, I don't know. Cause that, I, when I created my channel nine years ago and I got big because of overwatch, man. And I, when I quit, there was like only people cared cause of overwatch, you know? So it's cool to play a bunch of different games. Also, thank you. Justaka said, thanks so much for the 19 months. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, okay. So do I want any of this? Probably not. I don't even feel like I need to heal. We could just save this money. And then there's a, uh, there's a shop also. Uh, your Belusion cap is doubled. So this is something that we have seen before. I don't know if we took it. Your Belusion cap is doubled. So I guess this class can have Belusion, right? The the um, stuff from, uh, you know, the illusion. Um, create two gold whenever the board's refreshed. I don't even know because, like, we've already taken it. So it's not new and we don't have any illusion. So, yeah, we're going to just take Re-Philosopher's Stone. Hopefully uh, get a little bit more money. Hopefully we can actually get some refreshes to really make that worth it. And we need to go to the right here for a shop. Hey, even though we didn't get any money. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Let's go. Um, okay. Crucible 20 would probably be as hard as ultra hard on Isaac and having to play that at least four times would destroy me mentally. <laughs> I mean, I, Isaac progression is some of the hardest shit in the entire like roguelike like thing, right? Like if you're truly trying to like 100% Isaac, I think that's more complicated and harder and more time consuming than any other roguelike. And that's good if you're a fan of Isaac, you just have hundreds of hours of content in gameplay. That's why it's always my number one recommendation for uh, people uh, that uh, are getting into roguelikes and they don't, they want recommendations for roguelikes. It's like, well, have you played Binding of Isaac Rebirth? <laughs> if you haven't, I mean, that's kind of just got to be the default status quo, right? For most people. Um, so it's fun though, right? Like if we like Peglin, it'll be fun to put ourselves through that. Even like, I don't know, like I'm, I've had so many people say on YouTube comments, they love like just the video after video after video of me just losing. Also there's upgrade. We said we were going to try to do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, just all of that stuff of losing, um, because it, it makes the wins feel so much more satisfying, so much real, you know, when you've watched six videos of us trying to beat crucible 13 on the round rule, when we finally got that win last time, right? That's so satisfying. Also refreshes the board. Every reload. Absolutely huge. That's an immediate buy immediate buy. Um, and then I think we just remove not the Terra ball because we're spin venter, but a pebble. Cause now we want to reload a lot. Um, and we're still a little bit low health wise, but I think, I think with the, uh, the brand ball, I think we could do this here. Uh, honestly, I think we could do this. I just restarted my progress, uh, on Isaac just got first profile to polar it again. Nice. Yeah. That's what we did when the newest Isaac DLC came out. Cause I was like, Oh my God, I actually am doing let's plays on my channel. Now Isaac's been one of my favorite rogue like seven. Let me do that. And I underestimated how long it takes to even get to the point where we would be f seeing the new content. So I created a new series on the new DLC and I didn't really even show off the new DLC, you know? So kind of a mistake to be honest. Um, whatever. live and learn, right? <laughs> Live and learn, which yeah, man, Isaac's something I always would love more excuses to play. It's just, it's so many people have already made Isaac videos, right? I mean, believe it or not, some of my first videos 10 years ago on this channel were Isaac Let's Plays that nobody watched, you know? Um, and so it's just, it's just, it's a very already overly saturated market. So like, it's just the way it is, you know, like you got to play the YouTube algorithm. Like there's some games that I will continue to play at times because I want to also brand ball. Let's go. Um, 
And uh, like a recent example of it, there's a there's a hack and slash game called Mortal Sin. Love that game. I'm honestly gonna play it once or two more times because it's uh, fantastic, and I want to at least beat the game once. But those videos do terribly. But it's like you gotta balance that with like, okay, well, I have these series that people really like. Let's make sure we get more videos on that, you know. And it's easy for Peglin and Crab Champions because I'm genuinely obsessed with those games, especially Peglin, man. Uh, but okay, we got Poltergeist. guys. That's pretty good, I suppose. I suppose. Gonna try the new chess roguelike. I have not heard of the new chess roguelike. We played a lot of chess roguelikes, right? We played uh, the chess uh, roguelike with a shotgun, whatever that was. We've played Pombarian. We've played. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Also, I should probably try to just keep hitting those upgrade things. That'll help. Man, the one thing, the one bad thing about this jacket is there's like already one or two holes in it. I don't know if it's from my cats or from the material being a little bit thin. It's kind of a more expensive jacket, uh, sweatshirt too. So, like, I gotta, I gotta get that stitched up somehow. Um, bombs do a little bit of damage. Just want to get this. Uh, I hope we can get the bramble. Um, oh, that's good. Come on, let's get the bramble early on here, please, please, please. Yes, we got bramble first thing, which actually helps so much. That buys us so much time. I think that was that was crucial. We got really lucky. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. So hopefully, just we keep upgrading these uh, phases here, right? So like this is uh, automatically that was 32 damage. We're still gonna struggle here a little bit, I think. Um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that, but I think we're good. I think, I think we'll be okay. Every reload, yeah, so I actually don't have to worry about, um, yes, it hit the crit. Oh, <laughs> terrible, did 95 damage. Yeah, that extra reload every time is huge. So unfortunately, um, 52, yeah, we should be fine. And we have a restore too, so that's, when we heal, we heal more. Made it to castle, let's go. Um, not gonna, I will upgrade Poltergeist, honestly, to just straight up max right now. So we have Poltergeist going into castle. Um, battles start with twice as money gold, but all purchases are twice as expensive. Oh, glorious suffering. We said we wanted to do upgrade. I got to do it. It's going to be rough, but we have popping corn and we have restore. I think we can buy ourselves enough time for that here. Oh, shotgun King. Yeah. We've made a ton of videos on shotgun Ch King. Check out our, uh. Maybe not a ton, definitely a mini-series-esque thing, but um, check that out, right? Is that the official Barbie movie merch hoodie? Feel like you've been ripped off if that's a real thing. No, yeah, this is real. It Like, it's it's hard to say, but it's like the texture of it is really nice. Um, but yeah, there is like one just slight hole. There's, no, there's two slight holes. Um, but I, I don't know if they were caused by the kittens or not, you know? I'm not sure. The chess rug likes called check and slash. Yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't heard of that. If you're in our Discord or someone is, definitely feel free to throw that in the suggested or recommended. Otherwise, I'll try to remember. There's so many dang rug likes coming out. We're checking out a couple more in the next, like, two weeks. I think there's a lot of rug likes that I'm really excited about to come out, so... Keep your eyes peeled on that. Um, yeah, no, this upgrade, this upgrade build is uh, turning out really good here. Now we have the guaranteed uh, reload. I always say that's one of the best, or uh, refresh. It's one of the best refresh orbs I think you can get, to be honest. Um, this is another upgrade orb. But honestly, I'm going to take the laser. I think laser's an another just really good consistent damage orb that uh, kind of like... <gasps> Kind of would like it. Also, one more thing that is on my mind is we're just, uh, I guess, uh, talking during a Let's Play because I suppose that's uh, that's what I do here, right? <laughs> uh, navigation inflation, can't complain about that. Um, man, recently, most of the time I just ignore it, right? Like, I, I, I understand to ignore negative comments, right? I mean, I, I literally used to work at a PR company. <laughs> like, that was my first, like, real big boy job. So I kind of understand PR a little bit. Um, and this, this isn't like full on PR cause like, is I'm like, I'm not a big corporation yet. <laughs> I can't wait till I have like, I mean, I guess I have like some editors that I pay and stuff like that. And I 
paying artists. I just, uh, I'll probably post it in the secret chat for those of y'all that, um, you know, are members on YouTube or um, subscribed on Pit, Twitch or Patreon, any of that stuff. Um, but we finally got the full on designs of the dino, uh, Munch or whatever. What uh, that we've called him. Oh man, I was hoping to get those bombs. Okay, we're struggling here a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll show off the designs, but uh, you know, we're paying for art and stuff and a lot of that stuff, like I'm losing money on, but it's like, it's cool. It's an investment for the channel and stuff. Um, okay, this is rough. At least we're guaranteed the refresh. That's the thing. That is the thing. I didn't even know where I was going with that tangent. Oh, but uh, yeah, no. So uh, no, normally when there's just like super negative comments, I just ignore them, right? The, the, the only real time that I care about comments is like when people are like, or care about negative comments is when people are just like shitting on other people in my community, like being super aggressive towards like other people. Then I'm like, okay, no, you, you can shit on me. You can't shit on, you know, random people. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade. Honestly, the upgrade thing here. Um, but yeah, no, Peglin in particular, I think it's just one of those types of games because like you could like theoretically judge any specific type of gameplay, but there are, there have been so many recent people that like, they'll, they'll leave a comment and they'll be like, I am beyond pissed you. And then they, there's like five, like markers of of time codes of i guess when i've misplayed because yeah no shit i misplay i'm like I'm, i feel like i'm relatively good at the game but i'm just fucking around i'm having fun right and they're like i am beyond pissed like blah 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 like and and like there's like multiple people that are like getting visibly like just angry and i finally responded to one of them i was like i'm not trying to call this person out so don't don't go like look past in previous things. That's never ever in any situation what I ever want my community to do. Um, but I, I finally responded to one. I was like, "Hey, like, yeah, like I, uh, I, I, I like misplayed. Like, <laughs> what about it?" And he's like, "Well, I've been trying to tell you this like literally like the last couple videos, and you just will not listen to me." And it's like, holy shit! Like, like. Because, like, that's, like, multiple things. It's, like, one, like, I love the support of everyone. But, like, I'm sorry. Like, I, you are not entitled to, like, be, like, you, you I, I have been, I have been demanding that you, you listen to me of all people. Like, if you're someone in my chat that, like, you know, has been in a while and I, you know, like, and you frame it in the right way that there's a way to do it, right? But, like, because a lot of the times, like, it's, it's very fine. It's, like, oh, just by the way, like, did you, you know, I don't know if you knew this. I haven't seen you do it in a couple Crab Champions videos. But there's actually this mechanic and there's a real cool tip. And I'll be, like, oh, shit, that's cool. And if I remember it, I remember it. If not, sometimes they say it again nicely. But it's, like, yeah, when it's spun around and the, like, I, I am, I am pissed at you. It's, like, oh, my God. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say to that. Um, so I don't know where I'm going with that story. Um, but that's just been something I've been uh, experiencing specifically on these Peglin videos. So, uh, cheers to that. <laughs> I don't normally moderate comment section on YouTube, but I'll definitely do that now. No, I mean, yeah, definitely don't. Uh, the one thing I'll say is cause sometimes YouTube, um, cause I at least still want to see those, right? Cause I, I need to, I need to build a healthy relationship with them because it's always going to happen, especially the more I get bigger, it's always going to happen. Um, I just need to like get better at like just ignoring certain ones. So like during live streams and stuff, I definitely love having moderators and stuff like that. But like, unless there's anything like extremely, extremely like bad that like YouTube somehow hasn't like get caught up. Um, cause I did forget that, uh, moderators on YouTube can, can do that. But for the most part, I like, I like seeing the unfiltered reality of what I'm seeing. So, um, you know, in general, don't feel the need to, to do that too much unless it's like, I know there was, there was, uh, one of the error row videos. I know there was some like toxic people and I think I saw Root do something like that. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. But just in general. And yeah, don't ever think I'm trying to, to, uh, to, to, you know call individual people out and stuff like that it's, it's more just i'm a person as well you know and so it's like uh it's like this is this is how that makes me feel or however you know 
However you, you, you would, <laughs> we would do that. I still feel like I'm getting beaten the hell up. Even with popping corn and stuff like that. Um, I think we need to thin out our deck a lot more as well. And I, I guess I guess the part of it is we're constantly upgrading everything, right? We do have Glorious Suffering, which slows us down so much, but the scaling is so much better. Also, which fu okay, we're fighting the wall, which I think the fact that we're fighting the wall is extremely good. Um, because, uh, yeah, scaling here is going to be really, 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 really good. Really, 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 really good. Um, I'm going to just use the Pulse of Guys. To just, I need the refresh as soon as possible here. We can take a lot of damage, especially on that reload. But, see that we're, we're upgrading these things a lot. So it's like very easy to get a lot of damage here. In fact, this may... No, it had a bunch of shield. But goes through most of that shield. Oh, Lord. Okay, so we can get a 38 plus a crit. And the crit value actually matters on that a lot more. Yes! Okay, we did it. Definitely going to heal. Oh, definitely going to heal. Although them being highly pissed at you means they watch it and probably spread it around so other people will come check it out or they become stalkers and then it becomes a problem. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm I'm luckily, unfortunately, like it, it sucks that it's this way. I can't even imagine being like a uh, like a female streamer. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, the, the the amount of harassment and extra shit that like you would I, like you would have to deal with. Like I like I I'm I'm truly privileged to not have to like deal with that because that i can't even imagine how much worse it is because all the backseating then becomes like super sexist where it's like oh fuck you you don't know what you're doing you're just like a you're you're one of those women like that are like just trying to show your boobies and that's the only reason why you're big like you know what i mean like oh god dude i can't even imagine man people people that are like that are like fucking awful. Like I'm not even gonna go into like a whole political rant right now because this, this should this should be common sense. But if you've ever been one of those people or like someone like is like in a you're in a Valorant game or something, you just like have to harass any woman on the planet because of whatever reason you are. Like that is <laughs> that is some of the saddest shit ever. Like just the the pure like toxic like masculinity like. Fucking like like if you think that's gonna get you laid, no. That that will that will that will not bring you happiness. You're just gonna die alone and sad. And that's the way it is. Goddamn incels. Goddamn incels and right. <laughs> you can you can come back, right? Like I I you, you can come out of the rabbit hole at any point in time. But man, especially with like Andrew Tate and all that shit too. There's just it's it's so it's so disgusting, kids growing up now, like the, 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 the alleged, you know, role models, allegedly, that, you know, these people have. <sighs> yeah, there was just a bunch of, uh, unfortunately, uh, homophobia and transphobia and stuff like that. And that is, uh, that is, that is no bueno. It's like, I don't, I don't understand, like, just let fucking people be people. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not very hard to mind your own damn business, to be honest. Um, okay, let's try to get some of these lasers here. I, dude, we're still struggling kind of hard, to be honest. Um, oh, that was a really good pull to guys. Okay, we're good. <sighs> but I mean, that's the glorious suffering. But I, I think we're we're having to spend a lot of money on healing. Oh, do I want to spend money on healing? Yeah, I'll do it. I'm like. <gasps> Be able to buy anything. But that means I'll probably be able to fight this elite. So I think it's worth it, to be honest. First time seeing this from YouTube. Hey. Yeah, we, we multi-streamy boy now. So yeah, rib summoning circle. Rib summoning circle. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So this is this is a test for the wall, actually, at this point in time. We think we're okay fighting the wall. Let's put it to the test. Can we actually? Oh, I wanted to hit that refresh so bad. Um, I don't think Bramble works on these either. I'm actually a little bit scared, to be honest. If we can get refreshes, we're going to be good, but... 
Like, I'm literally gonna even use stones that don't do any damage just because I need that refresh earlier. If I can't get that refresh, I'm screwed. There, okay, there. Oh, that's huge. If I could hit another refresh. Actually, no, it's going to automatically. Yes, laser, dude. Laser. Laser is so good. It's still going. It's still going. It's upgrading all of these. 970 plus all those bombs. There we go. Everything's refreshed. Now we have big damage upgrade numbers here. Cool. Cool. Message in the group, but I think I'll- Oh, for the Brotato mod? Hey, That's sick. Yeah, OT Dan's been- Trouble- I don't envy you all the uh, troubleshooting needed in coding, like when it's like something just doesn't work and you're like, why the fuck is it crashing? Why is it not working? X, Y, Z. That's- that's some of the most frustrating stuff ever, so that- that's sick if it's allegedly maybe figured out. Okay. Um, sets a path when fired. Next orb fires multi-ball. We need to have- we, we- we have way too many orbs already, so... I'm gonna just upgrade, and then I'm gonna heal. We're doing that so we can just continuously, um, fight the elites. Also, collected gold contributes to damage because we are adding more. Um, and, uh, I know we have navigation inflation. I know I'm not really paying attention to it. Sometimes one of the reasons people in my, my YouTube chats are like... But, uh, you know, you know how it be. Ooh, heal, oh, heal, oh, heal, uh, heal six when reloading. We're trying to reload a lot, so that's just a little bit more consistent healing. So that's really good here as well. That's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, this reminds me of those pinball machines. It's so satisfying when the ball just bounces between three bumpers internally. Yeah. Oh, we're fighting the same elite here again. Okay, we get even more practice. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, I uh, I love this game. Uh, there's a reason we have played it. Uh, now officially, we are officially over 200 episodes, um, which is absolutely insane. Uh, it is the second longest running series on our entire channel, only beaten out by rounds. Uh, I think rounds were at 320, 324, but that series is uh, coming to a close here for at least, you know, maybe in a couple years we pick it back up or something. I'm still debating on whether I want to allow it to stay on the game wheel or not. Just being totally transparent on what I'm thinking. Because, like, on one end, it would be nice to just, like, end it perfectly. Like, on a big, fun, multi-hour stream event. And then have, like, nostalgia for it when we, like, check, that, check the game out again five years later. And then have all this nostalgia. You know what I mean? Okay, um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing uh, some some rounds finale event in November um, And then we're going to be doing uh, a reacting to the curse Sonic fan fiction. That was the the community goal that people uh, did on Twitch um, But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll announce those dates uh, on, on Twitch and on our uh, Discord and stuff like that uh, we'll give a couple days at least advance and there's gonna be official new not limited merch But there's gonna be official new permanent merch of uh, the the dinosaur munch in the other uh, future. So uh, yes, yes, yes An ending stream could be cool. Yeah, we're gonna do I don't think I'm gonna turn it into a subathon or anything because I, I definitely uh, I think I've learned my lesson from that plus it's like yeah Like I feel like subathons need to be like for fun quirky special events, you know um Every shot is a crit when fired below 50% health. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Last minute resort. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to do navigation inflation, right? We, ooh, that's actually good that we went to the fire. Yeah, I can go to fire as many times as I want. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe not that much. Okay, not, not, not that much. <laughs> Whatever, we got a lot of extra gold from navigation inflation. Um, but, uh, yes, 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 yes. 200 episodes, geez, I was on vacation with family when it started. I know, it's crazy. Crazy how long we've been playing Peglin for. What roguelikes do you have the most hours on? Uh, Binding of Isaac and Binding of Isaac Rebirth is definitely number one. Um, probably have about 400, 500 hours in the original. Probably like 400, 500 in, the, uh, they're in Rebirth, I believe. Uh, Slay the Spire is probably up there. Uh, probably looking around 200 hours in Slay the Spire. Um, Peglin, obviously 284. Um, Crab Champions, I think we're like at 60 or 70. Um, I just, I've always played a lot of roguelikes. So there's like so many roguelikes I've played that have like 15 to 20 hours or something like that, you know? 
Um, do I take Highway Orbery? Can be upgraded any number of times. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I just commit to a shopping spree. I think it's a little bit too late for that. We're officially like able to hold on to our money, but I don't think that means we need to uh, you know, do anything. I'm just trying to get more gold here on the easy ones here. Oh, Rogue Legacy 2. Yeah, Rogue Legacy 2 is easily one of the, the best roguelikes I... Uh, I think that if for, for people that have never played roguelikes, my first introductions to the genre um, are going to be uh, Binding of Isaac, Rebirth. I don't think there's much of a reason to play the original right now. Um, so Rebirth, um, and then uh, Slay the Spire, if you like card game stuff, and then a Rogue Legacy 2, if you want an example of the best meta progression, and then Vampire Survivors. Uh, for the, the progression of the achievements and stuff like that, right? I think that's now the, the four, I think. Like, th there's, I mean, there's amazing, I've played so many good roguelikes, it's it's sad to, like, do that. But that's, like, to, to put it down to a list like that. But those are probably some of the classics. I mean, I gotta throw Peglin up there as well. I'm sure Peglin will always get, like, a, a recommendation. But in terms of, like, classic best, I mean, Hades is probably up there. I just never invested as many uh, hours uh, into uh, Hades. But uh, Hades, Hades, uh, I know for a lot of people is a, is another really good, um, you know, kind of intro into that and stuff like that. So I should just, yeah, I'll just become a chess player, a chess streamer, one of those people here. I have the most hours in Binding of Isaac Repentance at 4,800 hours. Yeah, that's, that's why Isaac is good. That's a game you can put that many hours in. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Um, okay. Well, here we go. I don't think I need to upgrade stones. Let's go beat the wall here. Let's get some more money. It doesn't matter if I lose health or anything like that. We have a lot of money here. So if we make it to caves, dude, we may be able to beat Crucible 13 with Spinventor. I think we just had some bad luck. I'm very, very close here. Okay. So let's uh, get a bunch of upgrades here. I don't know. Maybe I didn't need to go for the reload. Oh, dude, the fact that the ref we got the refresh again is huge. So we've already been upgrading this left side of the map a lot here. And us taking our time, uh, having these guys not die is totally fine. Uh, because it just gives us more time to refresh. We've refreshed the left side of the board quite a lot, honestly. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Playing Rogue Legacy 2 when you're not used to that kind of game is really weird because it's a pure rogue light. My brain doesn't comprehend the fact that I need to grind to upgrade. I mean, I feel like if someone's never, I mean like Rogue Legacy 2 does a very good job explaining the mechanics and stuff like that. So like, I mean, maybe if someone wasn't expecting that there's meta progression, they might be like, oh yeah, this has meta progression. But yeah, that game is built around meta progression. The reason the game is so good is because of the meta progression. I can just go for the, yeah, let me just go for the refresh here. Not the best, but <coughs> that's what makes that game so freaking good is the meta progression has been mastered in that game. The game is built around it. It is so good. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't need the pebble here. I'm actually getting a little bit scared because we haven't done much damage, but I think that's because we're upgrading. Come on, hit the crit and the refresh. No, okay, we hit the crit. I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit scared here, y'all. Come on. Come on, we've upgraded the board a lot. Let me, okay, get the crit, 520. Okay, we're gonna laser here again. Oh man, the laser, there's a bomb in the way. Okay, let's just hope. Nope, 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 that wasn't good. That wasn't good, that wasn't good. Dude, the refresh is getting stuck. At least we have the final, but he's, it's getting too close to us. It's getting way too close to us. Oh my gosh, hit the refresh. Doesn't, okay. Dude, we, I think we're dead. We may be dead here. We may be dead. I'm trying so hard. He's just way too, okay, let's try to get a good laser here. That force, I know, no, I need better laser than that. I gotta hit, the, no, dude, we lose. We freaking lose. We, did, we couldn't do it fast enough. We needed more refreshes. Only having the one refresh wasn't enough. It was not enough. Damn. Damn. Rip. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> we just didn't have enough refreshes. We scaled too slower. Uh, too slowly. 
Rippity dippy. Well, we'll try one more time here. We'll try one more time. And you know what? We're going to go adventuring as well. I'm going to once again try to do the upgrade build. We'll try to do the upgrade build. I hate having less refreshes in Peglin. It really hurts to lose a run to the wall because of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we always say, like, remember when we were like, yeah, we got healing, but refreshes, you know, are still part of our checklist. And then we had the really good thing where every reload we got a, a refresh, which is really good. But you need, I, you need, I needed one extra refresh there, you know? I, uh, I need, I need more. I need more. Um, okay. So just trying to get as much gold as I can here. Want to be able to actually buy something. I'm glad we didn't hit the other bomb there. I need... Okay, there we go. We can at least buy something. Okay, it's like, how much damage do I want to take for a little bit more gold, right? So it's like, now I probably want to start... Actually hitting the bomb. Come on, get some more gold. Get a little bit more gold. Between Flash Isaac and today's Isaac, which is your favorite? Definitely today's Isaac. That's, that's not even a question for me. I, I really don't think there's a reason to play Flash Isaac anymore. Um, besides nostalgia. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to take the assemble because this assemble is the part that upgrades and we're doing an upgrading build. So it's kind of perfect here for us. Kind of perp uh, perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, enemies don't get their extra turn for your first reload. It's a pretty good defense one. Uh, don't think we're going to have money for a shop. I do want to fight this elite here, though. I have heard of anti-birth. I played anti-birth way back when. Not on a video, but... Uh, and that's obviously what uh, the newest DLC is, right? They, they got the developer of anti-birth to work with them to get it an official game or whatever. Which is pretty sick. Which do you prefer visually? Still the new Isaac. New Isaac by far. Yeah, yeah, I know there's more with the new DLC, but like at base it was anti-birth. That's like the, the base of what it was. I don't think that anti-birth made it into the official game. Yeah, it did. Like, not like inherently it did. It wasn't just called anti-birth, but like that's what the, um, what's it called? Uh, the astrology rooms or whatever they're called. Um, that's what that is. That's from anti-birth. Uh, I really want this refresh, but I don't know what's going to happen. We could probably just get some bombs here. Actually, I'm probably stressing over nothing. I think we're definitely fine. A lot of gold here, honestly. Yeah, planetariums, yeah. Wasn't that anti-birth? He's got one HP. More chance for more gold. We got one extra gold, two extra gold, three extra gold, four extra gold. It was so worth it. Okay. Um, duplicate orb, duplicates, hit, refreshes, and crits. It's just so particularly kind of hard to try to do that. Um, it's nothing I really want to upgrade. I don't know. I'm going to go to the shop. This is kind of inconsistent. It's, oh, okay, cool. If anything, we just remove something here, you know? Okay. Um, oh, okay, nice. We got the other part of assemble. That'll be, I'll, I'll do that. So we have two parts of the assemble here. Um, obviously it's the crit one, which is not my favorite, but uh, you know, say we get Minotaur, we get an easy crit, that matters. That matters. Okay. I mean, anti-birth planetariums were just implemented in repentance, so shrug emoji. I don't know what you're trying to argue. All I was saying was the dev of anti-birth got hired by the main devs, right? <laughs> and then uh, added a lot of anti-birth plus a lot of new content uh, to the DLC. We missed the crit there, man. That sucks. Um, okay, we kind of getting a little bit screwed here. A little bit. We'll take a lot of damage. Hopefully... Don't take too much damage. Okay, there's the crit. Okay, this could be a 122 damage. I just hope we don't hit. 
I know we're gonna get hit a second time. I hope we don't get hit a third time. I just don't want to get hit a third time. We had that upgraded on the right. We gotta do 205. Any way we do 205? No. Okay. Can I just not get hit a third time then? That's all I want. So I just need to do 50 damage. I think I can do that. Let's go. Okay, we didn't get hit a third time. Still a little bit scary. Still a little bit scary. Okay, there's Poltergeist. We need AoE for sure. Um, and I'm gonna heal, as sad as it is. Prime Rod of Frost, okay. Okay. Prime Rod of Frost plus the, um, the AoE Orb. That's definitely a good little combo there. That's a good little combo. Ugh, I don't want to take nine damage, man. I don't want to take nine damage. Okay, uh, enhanced gunpowder. That's really good. Um, at this point in time, no, I go far left because I want to fight that elite. Um, all attacks get 1 0. Not going to complain about that. And we're just going far left. Actually, is it too risky to go for the elite? Ooh, duplicate. Oh, man. Do we duplicate? No, wait. If I duplicate anything, it loses its damage. No, yeah, because of uh, spin vent originality. So, I don't think we actually duplicate anything. Yeah. I almost fell for that one. I am going to risk it for the biscuit here. I am going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Imagine if when you beat Crucible 20 on a character, you unlock a special form of the character with a slightly different class relic. That would be sick. I mean, that's a f somewhat... Like, what, like, tainted versions of, uh, the Isaac characters? Oh, that'd be pretty sick. And then I would hope that they would have their own Crucible levels. I just want, like, infinite content from this game, right? That's why I hope that, like, they add more characters in the future and stuff. Um, I could see them adding, like, one or two new DLC characters, or having them be updates, I don't know. It's like, I just always wish, like, Slay the Spire had, a. Uh, the DLC for another character, but to be fair, I feel like it's pretty well-rounded, right? There's four characters. I don't know what design, like, you don't want to force it. If you, if you had an idea for a design space, then you could do it, which a lot of modders did, right? That's what the modding is for, you know? Um, okay, 334. We really can't afford to take any damage here, so hopefully we don't. Hopefully we don't. Okay, he didn't get his turn, which is nice. Three, four. See, so these, those two uh, pegs are upgraded pretty high. So, um, hands gunpowder would be kind of nice too if we could actually get it to trigger. There's a one ninety six. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Now we have blast sector on the ascent. Oh man, dude. Okay, we'll probably have time to heal. So now we have the third of the fifth thing. Oh my gosh. This is like the most AOE ever. We have now AOE Assemble, we have Poltergeist, we have Prime Rod of Frost. Do I take over Hammer as well? I think I... Or do I go Choke Mod because, I don't know, I don't inherit... Yeah, no, we'll do Over Whammer. We have so much AOE. So much AOE, and then if we're still doing the upgrading, right... This could be pretty cool. Our just our health and our refresh situation is still awful. I do not want to remove all orbs. We will remove an orb, which hurts us though. So we are at 46 HP and we're fighting a slime boss. So I need to pay for healing here and like take like zero damage, which should be easy. We have so much AOE right now. So yeah, the anti-burst soundtrack was really good. I enjoyed it playing Antibars back back in the day. Man, I would just play uh oh, man dude, I would just have sleepovers with my friends and we'd just be on our laptops. Uh so much binding of Isaac, man. Isaac's an amazing game. Oh whoa, dude, did this does assemble have a new attack uh attack animation or sound? Dude, also this AoE is insane. This is like some Torch it. Are you okay? Hey, uh, Angel, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. It's impressive it was made by a single person. Yeah, that's it's like same thing when you think of like games like Undertale 
or like Amori. I think Amori, there was uh, a lot of people, more people helping out on the game. But like Undertale, like Toby Fox, right? Didn't he do all that music, all the art, all of that, you know? Like that's adding, that's insane. And I did see the official co-op update. Uh, we might actually try to do some like collabs or something with it. I could do instigator, but there's no reason for that much AOE. Uh, so now obviously we need to heal. So we're at 61. So let's hope and pray to God that we don't lose to the slime here. We still could. Was an eyelids made by a single person? Um, I believe the art and the coding was, I don't know about the music. I'm not hundred percent sure. It probably was. Undertale art wasn't made all by Toby Fox. Oh, Temi. Wait, Omocat helped? I didn't know Omocat helped, or have you pronounced it on Undertale, because they're the ones that made Amori. What did they do for, uh... What did Omocat do for, uh, Undertale? I'm actually so curious. Um, okay. So, I don't know. I really don't want to lose this build. Please hit the crit. Rip. Oh, lord, man. That's the thing. We have all this AoE, but, like... What is, does that even matter? We gotta get a good crit, but we're not- oh, I should've- Oh, it was so close to getting that crit, man! That would've, like, just killed if that assemble had hit the crit there. Like, that would've done so much damage. It would've done so much. I don't wanna lose this. We don't have guaranteed refreshes either. Our refresh is just stuck here, now we lose. We just lose. We can't get that refresh. That's ah, oh, feels so bad. Damn, damn. No way. This okay. We gotta have this crit hit. Come on. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, we'll do. We'll try one more time. One more. One more. One more build here for Spinventor. Enhanced gunpowder. Man, we thought we were going to get get it first try with that first build. Man, 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 man. Omo Cat made enemy sprites in Undertale. I know Toby Fox made a track for Amori. Huh. It's pretty cool. Oh, didn't mean click that. Okay, well. Let's see if we can get something cooking here. Maybe some sort of... I still like the concept of the upgrade build. Right, if we have a potential for that, I'm still gonna attempt to try to do that. And I hope we can get enough gold here. The enhanced gunpowder is killing these enemies kind of fast. We only have 16 gold. I need gold. 19 gold. I need gold. I'm at 24 gold. I need gold. There we go. We have at least 25 gold now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, Jacker Blanern. We've been, uh, I've been, I, I've been keeping my eye on it. It's been offered to us a couple times. It just hasn't been the right place, right time for it. But maybe this is the right time for it here. Okay. Let's just try to keep getting as much gold as possible. Because, yeah, see, Jack of Lantern is good on Spinventor. Remember, we kept trying to take it on the <laughs> the round roll. And just, uh, obviously, we're struggling. Um, because... Um, we were obviously struggling. Because it doesn't have as much damage, right? The Spinventor... Is uh, pretty dope. Forgot that that targets anyone. Um, okay, I'm going to get one of the bombs here. I feel like we've gotten most of the gold here. I don't want to take too much damage. I hate the slime boss. I hate the slime boss. The Peglin Reddit said the best strat for slime boss was restart till mole. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of save scumming. Um, but I mean, obviously I'm not mad if other people do it. But uh, that is funny. Because I, I do agree. So I hate slime boss, man. The mole is so much easier to me. Because I think the main reason why is because you're going into castle and you need AOE. So if you're just prepping for a castle that's inherently going to prep you for the mole, the slime, you need different tools. You need way more raw damage, you know. Obviously, we're going to take Swiltorb because I kind of am interested in this AOE. Or not AOE, this... Um, I would have if we had the last build, but the upgrading kind of builds here. Um, Basalt Totem. 
Uh, it's not really gonna be good now, but if this build somehow lasts for a while, we have learned to actually appreciate that orb or relic a little bit. Still not my favorite, but uh, we're figuring it out here, right? Like the beard you're growing out. Yeah, I'm still, I don't know, it's still a little patchy. Um, this is probably the most I've grown it out before. I'm still just kind of like in the period of, yeah, I'm gonna just let it all grow for like, probably another month and then from there see 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 what we doing with it kind of in uncharted territories here also i am gonna lie th this headband i didn't realize how op having a headband is for the the the, the, the hair i've been trying to like gel it up a little bit more i still think that's what i'm gonna do more obviously this is just part of our our uh, halloween costume i'm like okay i, I understand right there's a shout out to a a YouTuber named Kanzalone. Um, he's been growing. Uh, he's one of the people that I've been talking about. He's been getting a lot of growth from the YouTube live streams. Uh, he plays kind of more of like, um, like the like the farming games and the, the lifestyle games and stuff like that, uh, which is really cool. I know there's a huge, uh, huge category of games. For, you know, kind of more focus on roguelikes, but um, he, he's a he's a he's he's a a wielder of the headband, and uh, I definitely I can I can I can see the hype now. Um, okay, kind of want that refresh, but man, that's the thing. Higher crucible levels, dude. It's freaking rough trying to get certain refreshes, man. It's freaking hard. Jeez, there we go. We took so much damage there, actually. Um, I'm going to take another upgrading thing here. And then, honestly, I've... Who am I fighting? I'm fighting slime again. Damn. So we don't even have. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's just upgrade one time. I'm gonna have to heal eventually here. I just feel like we need to upgrade something, right? More combats and stuff like that. You know. I don't know. Oh, <sighs> Toby Fox's real name is Robert, not Toby. I feel like it's. Maybe Toby's like his nickname or something. So I feel like Robert. Is that a common nickname for people named Robert? That's one thing I've never understood. I've never understood when parents will name their kid something and then like at birth call them something else. Like, it's kind of different if, like, you, you grow up and then you grow up with a nickname or you end up, like, wanting to, like, like giving yourself a nickname. But, like, the people that, like, their parents are like, okay, yeah, we're going we're gonna to name you on the birth certificate, Alexandria, blah, 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 blah. But we're going to call you, you know, Amy. So, I, I mean, like, I, I, don't, I don't know, like, what I'm shitting on here. I mean, I guess I'm shitting on that. But, like, there's not really a reason for me to not like it. It's more just like, yeah, that's weird. Uh, but it is, it's a little bit weird to me. Um, that's that's all I have to say. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to go from that. Okay, bad cheese. Honestly, I'm going to go bad cheese because we have zero AoE. Maybe that saves us in castle. We're not even going to get it. When an enemy hits you with a melee attack, we blind him a little bit. It's not as good as like sand arrows. You know, the one where you're just like consistently applying blind to people. Hey, Tree of Ember. Thanks for the 24 months TTG becoming cans alone now. <laughs> we were just talking about that. <laughs> Yes, yeah, this is part of my Halloween outfit, but I'm starting to understand the hype of of uh, of Canzalone's look here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna become Canzalone, stealing his uh his audience. It, the audience all comes from the headband. That's the that's the strat here, right? <laughs> uh, let's just get these bombs. I need I need these guys to. Die. And it worked. Um. Okay, so we're going to heal. We're gonna upgrade Swoltorb. And honestly, if I fight the elite or not, I just need money here. So, okay, that's fine. We got a little bit here. Oh, I think that's because your name isn't able to be nicknamed into something shorter. I mean, yeah, I just, I just genuinely appreciate that my like parents gave me a name that like they were going to call me. Right. I just have a lot of like people I knew growing up that their parents specifically gave them a different name and immediately at birth called them something else. And it's like at that point, just like, I don't know. I don't know. 
And like, I'm sure that there's like certain reasons sometimes. And as much as I want to freaking fight this elite, I'm not going to. I'm going to show restraint here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to try to get the bombs. No, we were close. At least we're not going to the, the elite here. <laughs> I'm watching with my sons and we call my older son Charlie so much he finds it weird that his name is Charles. I mean, and that, like, that's like a, that's a very close similar name, right? But so the question is... Did you at birth call call uh, your son Charlie? Like, did you did you write the the? I'm genuinely curious because, like I said at this point, like I have no reason to dislike this. So I'm just curious of the 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 thinking. Right? Was it like I will uh, like you shine the birth certificate like Charles? You know, it's a very fancy, sophisticated name. And uh, and then like the next day when you went home, you're like, oh look at Charlie. Cause like that still makes sense. I can understand the thought process of why that happens because it's a very similar name. It's like more of a, a cute, cute, not a cutified name, but like it, you round off the edges of the name, you know? Um, I need to upgrade things now, but I don't have the health for it. So <sighs> we'll just take the relic. I don't know. Maybe I should have upgraded shit. I'm just taking the L. Um, now I want to go to the right here. I don't know what's going to happen. Hey, it happened. Let's go. Let's go. We named our cat Obsidian at first, but then we nicknamed him Obi. But then we just name him Obi. Obi's a good name. And see, I feel like pets, that, that's obviously, that's a different, it's a slightly similar situation, but it's, it's a little bit of a different situation. That is exactly what we did, LMAO. <laughs> With the Charles and Charlie. Which, yeah, I don't like, I, I for some reason feel like that's a, like not even like a biased, like, thing i feel like that's a little bit better because like what charles and charlie that's you're changing what is that only two letters changing or is that just one letter changing i don't i can't do the math right now um but it doesn't seem like that 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 big of a change right so like that that feels like it's for some reason not as bad <laughs> I think it like in particular too, it's like, there's a lot of these long names that all get abbreviated to like three letter names, like uh, Amy, Meg, I'm trying to think of other things. But yeah, that definitely could have just come from like a genuine like appreciation of my name from my parents. Oh my God, dude, I need that refresh, man. We're still getting screwed by refreshes. These damn refreshes, man. Oh my god, dude. Are we gonna lose because I slimed I slimed that peg? Which is preventing me to hit the refresh, dude. I'm gonna freak out, dude. Are we going to lose? Because this peg right here, I can't. I just have to aim. Wow, what a way to lose. What a way to lose. What a way to lose! Oh my god! Wow. Man, we got fucked by some refreshes here. We got fucked. I ain't even gonna lie. But either way, whatever. We made it to Castle on that first one, and we did have some fun with some <laughs> some upgrading. But I suppose it will it will take maybe a couple episodes to beat Fitzpinventor. We, we thought we maybe had a good one early on, and I think we did. Um, but man, we just weren't able to scale up fast enough. Glorious Suffering, I, I, I don't feel like I have a very high uh, success rate with Glorious Suffering. Like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, if I, if I did the stats on all of, like, the boss relics and which ones, like, are the most likely to guarantee me a win like the most likely um you know or just me uh the one that has i would have the most win rate on i'm having a stroke um because i feel like glorious suffering we were we've been screwed a little bit you know uh and i don't know maybe we need to be a little bit more hesitant on that um maybe i went a little bit gung-ho just really wanting to do the upgrade which i it was cool to do the upgrade stuff but uh maybe next episode um we uh you know try to do some other spinventor shenanigans right um i think there's yeah there's still 
No, there's not. There's one more rare relic, but I think it's the boot that we passed up now that I think about it. Um, so I think, yeah, there's no other like new relics or anything like that. But either way, it was fun. I hope you guys, if you're watching on YouTube, um, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, go to the big boy YouTubers say uh, to be notified when more Peglin videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Um, check out our playlist for all sorts of other crazy builds. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some Peglin on your own, then I wish you guys luck. And see you all next time.